especially his feet. And I don't do his, his face because I don't want to get this in his eyes or irritate much of that. So I've just been using a warm washcloth and really cleaning his face nicely when we get him out of the shower. I need to flip him this way a little bit. A lot of people are saying he looks a lot better. He does. He looks a ton better. Really, really impressed with, with how he's doing. I just wish his other issue would, would resolve itself. It's probably not going to, and we're going to have to do some drastic measures, but that's okay. We'll figure it out. Andrea Sasso wants to know what he's eating now. He's eating three times a day satin balls. Um, how many times a day are you giving him those? Two times a day. And then his kibble. Two cups each time, three times a day. And he's... Some pumpkin and some, uh, what's that other stuff? Some dine. Some dine. Added some dine. And the kibble he's eating is the, uh, the from? I think so. Yeah, the from kibble. Okay, so I'm going to have you hold him right here for me. I'm going to wash my hands real quick. And then... great idea. <laughs> Let me get this out of there. <laughs> he likes it. He's such a sweet, sweet boy. Look, right here. Awesome. That gives him something to do while we wait out our 10 minutes. Usually we just sit in here and talk to him. <laughs> he likes that. Anybody else have questions? He's got such a sweet, sweet demeanor. Interested to see um, what the vet has to say on Monday, and then we'll just kind of, kind of go from there. Andrea's asking any ideas how much his care has cost so far. So far we're into it about $550. Um, if he has to have surgery, we're probably looking at another couple grand at least. Um, so we'll, we'll definitely figure that out. Um, on Monday when they take a look. Um, yeah, are you thirsty? I'm gonna wash some of that peanut butter down. Andrea also asked, and is he looking for a foster besides you? He is not. He will stay with me until he's completely fully recovered, and then we will find him um, just the perfect home for him to go to and live out the rest of his life. But nope, he'll stay right here um, until until we find that home and, and he gets all completely better. And it's not that I don't trust anybody else, it's just I need to make sure that he gets absolutely everything he needs. And it's better not to move him around. He's pretty comfortable here with us now. And um, 
he knows the routine and he does really well with that. So that's where, uh, so we'll just keep him here. It's easier on them. Jenny Galbraith says, awesome that he's staying with you. How, is, how does he do with other dogs? Um, so far, we haven't had him out around the other dogs. He is kenneled next to another dog, and he does just fine with that. Uh, if he is eating, he will tell another dog that comes around him um, to back off. This is my food. He's not afraid to say that. Um, I have a, a little nine-month-old deaf puppy. And he comes around because he thinks he's going to get all the, the food that the dogs knock out of their crate. And he definitely told him, this is mine, you better back off. So he's not afraid to tell them. You want a drink? He wants more peanut butter. Yeah, that's good stuff. That's some good stuff. We're going to keep this uh, family friendly, otherwise I'd show you um, his other ailment. Um, but we'll just keep that to ourselves for now. I'm sure you've seen it in some of the photos, some of the videos. Just helping himself to some water. <laughs> you want me to hold it up for you? Is that not as fun? It's not as fun, is it? Any other questions that people have out there? Yeah. He's very gentle as you can see. Loves to be petted, loves to just hang out. I can go back and get the rest of that off the counter. <laughs> That's super awesome. Well, if nobody has any other questions, we can let you go here while we wait out the next few minutes until we rinse them off. Um, definitely keep them in your thoughts and your prayers. Um, any help is greatly appreciated with this medical care. Andrea asked another question. She said, how often do you see mange like that? Um, in the last few years, I'd say maybe five times. Maybe. Yeah, maybe five okay. times out of probably four, 400 nine, dogs. Nine. Yeah. Not very often. Yeah, doesn't happen too often. Just why they get it. So all dogs have uh, mites, and what happens is when they get in compromised situations, whether that be um, found as strays, living in a field, um, unsafe living conditions, then the... Uh, they come out and then they um, attack the body, basically creating the mange. Um, all dogs have them. It's not contagious by any means, and it certainly is treatable. Um, we've we've done, like I said, probably about five dogs in the past with with some pretty bad mange. Um, his case is a little bit more severe than the ones we've seen. He's got, um, because of the red feet and some yeasty stuff going on there, that he had to be put on antibiotics, so it was yeast on top of mange, which made his feet even worse than his body. Um, and being a stray and not having his history, that makes it hard for us too, because we don't know what we're working with as far as, you know, what's his past been like, what kind of issues, medical issues has he had in the past. Kelly Shirts asked, how many medical pups do you bring in? Um, the medical ones <laughs> are the ones that really, really grab my heart. And I really, um, you know, we'll, we'll take those that we can. I don't really have a number for as far as how many we've brought in over the last couple years. Um, we had a dog with a broken leg. Um, Maddie came in. Maddie had mange. We have two DM boxers that we pulled. They were in the shelter. They already had DM. They couldn't walk, um, needed wheelchairs. We brought those ones in. Um, 
see. I know there have been a few others, but I just can't think of them off the top of my head. But yeah, I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid of medical dogs at all. And I'll take them and help them if I can. Sometimes the ones that come from California, it's just a matter of can they make the trip here. And if they can, then I'll definitely step in and pull those dogs. Some dogs are not healthy enough to even come. So unfortunately, I have to pass on some of those. Yeah, he's just the sweetest. He is so sweet, so sweet. All right, any other questions from anyone? Sweet baby. You want to say goodbye to all your friends? Bye everybody. Bye everybody. Look in his yeah. eyes. <laughs> Kelly asked, How old do we think Neo is? Um, so the shelter told me Neo was 10. I don't believe Neo is 10. Um, but it's really hard to say based on the, the vet here said maybe 6. Um, so once we get him all healthy and everything, I think we'll have a better idea. Um, but based on what the vet said, she said probably 6. Right, buddy? Yeah. If you look right into his eyes, look at those eyes. They tell a story. A story that he just loves everything, everybody. He's such a happy boy. Sean Cole asked, what is your greatest need and how can average people like me help? So, greatest need, I would say, is our medical. Um, people can help by donating on our website um, or sending us um, medical funds in the mail. Either way is a great help to us, um, but most of it is medical. The dogs that come in need to get vetted, they need to have their vaccines, they need to be spayed or neutered, and, and then dogs like this who just need that little bit of extra extra attention, extra love, extra care. The other way people can help is just by sharing. Sharing our dogs that are available for adoption, sharing dogs like Neo who need that extra push, a little bit of help. That's a great way too is, is to just be sharing us out there on social media. him up and uh, Get some coconut oil on rinse him off. We're going to put coconut oil on him. That definitely has been helping. And then we'll put a shirt on him and he'll be good to go for the night. So thank you so much for watching and taking a part, sharing a part of Neo's life here. Uh, we appreciate that so much.